Electric eels are really interesting because, you know, we call them eels, and the reason their body is so long and eel-shaped is to house this really long set of electric organs. Most of the eel's body contains electric organs, with the head giving off a positive charge and the tail negative when zapping a fish. They're essentially a series of batteries lined up one after another in series, the way you might put a whole bunch of batteries in a long, powerful flashlight. And those add together to give 600 volts, ultimately, for a large electric eel. In the few years that Catania's been studying eels, he's looked at how they stun their prey. The eel can remotely activate the prey's muscles through the nerves to temporarily paralyze it. And that is the same as a taser. And eels can control the intensity of their shocks. I was able to record the change in the electric field strength under the uncurled and the curled condition. They are, are essentially amplifying the effect of their high voltage output on the prey when they curl into this position. So it's a really clever way for the electric eel to essentially manipulate its body to maximize the effect of its electrical output.